Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see I have my little guest here again today. I have a feeling that she's going to be joining me frequently. So today I wanted to do my 2016 favorites. The stuff that I selected are things that I reached for all the time. I feel like they are like your staple pieces. Like if you're thinking of fashion or capsule wardrobes if you've ever dabbled in those kind of things. It's like your your foundation pieces that you just like put with everything else. So that's how I feel about these products. So let's go ahead and get started. So all of these items I've pretty much used the whole year except for maybe just a couple that I found more towards the end and the first one that I'm starting with is one of those. Some of you may know I started working for Bobbi Brown in September 2016 and so I got to get to another products a lot better and there have been so many gems. But a few of them I felt like I would save for later future videos that, you know, as I get to know the product even better. But one of these is just one that I just adore and I feel like it works so well. And I, unfortunately only right now I have a sample. <laughs> Thanks Nordstrom. It's the Tinted Moisturizer by Bobbi Brown. Maybe I'll, if I can figure out like how to put in a picture, I'll put a picture of what it really looks like because if you're like me, you want to see what it actually looks like, not just the sample. So I'm using the shade Extra Light. I'm wearing it right now and it's just super dewy, creamy gel feeling where it it feels like you're putting on a really nice moisturizer. It feels like you're putting on something that's going to look really dewy and it still maintains that look but it still has that feeling of where it's set so that when you touch your face, you're not like Ugh, it's like coming off of my fingers and I have hormonal breakouts uh, every month. <laughs> I've noticed that it doesn't cling to the varying texture of your breakouts and things like that which is one of my pet peeves of trying anything on my face. So next up we have our Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Drugstore price, I mean it's like less than seven dollars. I know it depends on where you go. I've noticed that whether it's like Walgreens or Target or you know depending on the country you live in. It varies a little bit but either way it's for sure under ten dollars and I just I'm surprised at how good it is. It's not entirely full coverage I wouldn't say but definitely medium to buildable close to full but it's pretty pigmented like when you put it on you don't feel like like oh great it like barely does anything like I can't stand those concealers because I have dark circles and I just want to put a light layer and have it actually cover and I feel like this does that and it's really effective and I, I enjoy using the shade light or number 10 the most it's brightening without ever looking super white cast like I've used um, <laughs> I've used concealers before where I'm in a photo and there's the flash and the flash goes off and, I'm, and I look back and I'm like Ugh, I look like a freaky little ghost where I'm just like glowing through just the bottom of my eyes and looks weird and I'll show you my next product that is like the perfect companion to this so up next I have the Laura Mercier let me get this right I always want to say it differently secret brightening powder I always want to say under eye but that's because it's made specifically for the under eye and it's made in Italy mm -hmm. and I've used this constantly I wear it every every single time I use concealer every time I wear makeup I love this powder it's so finely milled, it's so soft, and it has these little light reflex in it where it just makes your under eye look so smooth. Like if you're in photos and a flash hits your eyes, it just bounces off where it just gives like this like silky velvety finish in the photo, where it, but in a good way, like it looks natural. It's so pretty, and it's worked with every single concealer I've used bar one that was just way too creamy and rich, like nothing worked with it. So this is just by far the best. If you want a really good under eye setting powder that will not crease and that will work with pretty much every concealer, you have to try this. It's really beautiful and it's a decent price. I think it's about 25 bucks. Oh, and by the way, I will list all the prices below just because the less talking I have to do, the better because I can be kind of long-winded. That's kind of my base right now. There's a few other things for my base, but too soon. I'll talk about them in, a, in the future. And one of the products I used all the time was a MAC Paint Pot. And what this is, is it's a cream eyeshadow and the shade I always use is called Painterly. So it's kind of like a slight pinky nude. And you can see I've, like even though I've used it all year and it's like less than 20 bucks, it, there's still at least half of it in there. It's so good. 
I just use my ring finger and I just pat it all over my eye. If you see any of my makeup tutorials, I've probably used it in every single one. <laughs> It just goes with any eyeshadow and what it is is that it's really again pigmented very lightweight and I place it all over my entire eye area from lash line to brow bone and all the way into the inner quarter it covers all my veins it just covers everything it just kind of makes it a really clean blank slate in like a good way so it brightens the eye area so you could leave it on by itself because it's just one of those colors that just works for a lot of skin tones I, I mean obviously if you have like Caucasian tone um, and like it just makes every eyeshadow I wear long wearing. I just love it. I use it every single time. It never fails me. So this is definitely worth a try. Continuing with the eyes, I am going to talk to you about my favorite eyeshadows for 2016. I use them constantly right up until the end when I start to play with some Bobbi Brown and other new things. And what they are is, did I already say that? I don't know if I've already said it, but the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. And what I did is this gonna be, gonna be kind of like a side favorite. I didn't really think about it. I'm sorry, this is so filthy. But it's the Makeup Forever Metal Empty Palette, whatever you call it, Magnetic Palette. And so this, I believe, is the biggest one. If not, it's the second biggest. And so you get a good side, a good idea of the size. And this base is all magnet. And it's really strong, so I love it. And it's so affordable. I started out with the Z palettes, but I remember even talking to my husband. And he was like, that's just cardboard. Why is it so expensive? It was like the size, not even as big as this, and it was $30. And my foiled shadows, those creamy ones I'll talk about in a second, shattered when I was traveling. So I was really disappointed. And I got two so fast because I think this was like $13 for this huge thing. And I'm telling you, the magnet is awesome. So it's really travel friendly and it securely shuts and so again like things are not gonna like go through this and like harm your eyeshadows but I just love these shadows there's a like she has so many colors now so she has a huge color section which selection which is awesome so you really just can't go wrong like you will definitely find the colors that would suit you best whatever you're looking for excellent color range and the pricing is so good and I think they're just like six dollars each so you can really customize you can get a smaller palette like this if you're a minimalist and you want just like a couple of main colors and you're good to go because they'll last forever and they come magnetized on the back they have the name the little sticker on the back now so this one's called Petr <laughs> Petal Pusher which is one of my faves and lastly I will say that they just are not chalky and powdery like you know when you're using a poor quality eyeshadow when it is just dusty like just Ugh, it just doesn't stick to the eye like oh I can just think of when uh, back in junior high when I've used ones like that and it's just like mm -mm, I just didn't know I did not know and now I do okay, so going on to a slightly newer find but I'm just so pleased with it that I was just like I had to talk about it this is like a, a deluxe sample but this is the Bobbi Brown this is a smoky eye mascara so it looks like that and I'm telling you, this formula is just so good. It is just so separating whether you have thick lashes or sparse lashes. Like, it just works for everybody. I use this. This is my go-to one at work. I always put it on people because it never, ever clumps up on me. And if you have, like, sad little weak eyelashes, it will work. It will help lift them. Like, I remember when I did my mother-in-law's eyelashes. She has really long ones, but they're not super dense or thick. And they were just like, whoop! It's <laughs> just like so they just went so high. I, whoa, those are so long and like up right now and they're I thought they were looked so pretty. Super separating, it's lengthening, but one of my also my favorite parts is that you can build and build and build. You can do coat after coat after coat and it will not get lumpy and gunky on you. It's just such a good mascara. And and so I'll going on to lashes these are actually my favorites right here. So these are the Ardell Wispies. And so what they is, <laughs> what they is, what they are is that they're tapered on the inner and outer corner. Like, is that the right word? Yeah, like they're shorter and they go like this, right? So they're the longest in the center. So I find it really flattering for tons of eye shapes. I dare to say every eye shape. They just might be a little long in length for some people. I just love them. I just think they're so universal. They're just so pretty, affordable. I can reuse them tons of time. They just look fluffy. They don't look super plasticky. Like I don't like it when 
eyelashes when you look down they like have that shine to them and they just look like straight plastic I hate that so I like that these don't look like that and they're just for being as long as they are they're pretty natural and I love them finishing up with the eyes I wanted to tell you because I never see people talking about eyelash glue and I feel like that's so important the house of lashes eyelash adhesive and so this is the little guy this is my favorite it comes with the little one in black as well it just it's in my purse I can't be bothered <laughs> But this one's my favorite. The black one is is still really awesome, but you, I feel like you have to be wearing a, some sort of thick eyeliner or just eyeliner. Like the black glue will dry black. For today, I wouldn't do that because would, you would see it and it would look funny. And so I like the clear or the white one because it clears, it dries clear. And I'm just so pleased. Like they are just freaking bulletproof. I just love it because I have stopped worrying about my corners coming undone. It's just not even a thought anymore. The only thing is that sometimes you'll have a little leftover on your eyes. So you just want to have a good makeup remover that's more like oily based and it comes off and it's fine. No big deal. But I'm telling you, if you want a fuss free or no, like a worry free, I should say, eyelash glue, then definitely try House of Lashes. Don't put too much on, but make sure you do at least coat the entire strip. It's just so good so good so moving back to the face I feel like I maybe should have done that before this is the cover effects bronzer in suntan and I have even hit pan now so you know like the metal bit that the product sits in look I've hit pan <laughs> the shade in suntan I believe they only have three shades and this is the middle one I tried the lighter one and it just was not dark enough for me but this shade like ugh, it's just that perfect kind of neutral coolish shade without looking muddy there are so many times when I look at contouring colors and they're just so cool toned that they just look like mud but this one is cool without being like that which is just amazing and so it just is the perfect tone I swear you have to try it and the formula is great it's just it's kind of like you don't realize how easy it is to work with until you try other stuff like it's just blends really easy it never gets patchy it's never like oh gosh I can't blend that part like and cover effects is known for having products that won't clog your pores won't like give you extra acne and things like that cover effects is known for that and they just happen to have made one of the best shades I have ever tried this is just in harmony with any makeup look I just can't say enough about it and it's one of those products that is totally underestimated totally under like I never hear about it and it's so good so good you just have to show the last products for the face and then I'm just going to end on the lips and just wrap it up here <laughs> and let you go is the Laura Geller blushes and highlighter. Oh gosh, I can't even tell you. It's a cream product and then it is baked on terracotta tiles and then you end up with something like this. And so Laura Geller's products specifically look like marbly like that so she'll throw in different colors not only do I love the formula because because it was originally creamy it just melts on the skin like I am wearing her highlighter right now and it's like you can't even tell where it starts and ends really like it's just melts into the skin and you don't feel it like it just blends so freaking well like they're just so good and this is my favorite one it's called pink buttercream I use it constantly and I actually don't have it on so I'm going to throw it on for you so you can see what it looks like. I just press in there. So not only am I just in love with the formula and how it just looks like perfection on the skin. Fabulous sheen to all of her powders that if you're not into the highlighting but you want to have just like this healthy glow that's super subtle and just really pretty I'm telling you all the more to try these because that was part of the reason why I didn't get into highlighting for a while because I always use her blushes and it just gave me this little highlight that was just so soft and pretty that I just, oh, I just love them so much. See how it just blends? It just looks so pretty. And this color is so neutral. It's like that perfect nudie color. Anyways, I hope what I wanted to say about them is in the first clip because I don't even know anymore, you know what I'm saying? But to end... Here's the highlighter that I have all over my face. I'll get up close and personal. So this is um, Portofino, which is all over my face. And then here's French Vanilla, which is more of a kind of satin sheen, which is gorgeous. So it's nice to have an option between the two and in one compact. And like, it is just so pretty. 
It's just that perfect beigey champagne that I swear, like I would use this on any skin tone, it's stunning. And like you can see, I have it all over my cheekbone, I have it all the way up in here into my brow bone. It's all over my lid, I'm not wearing eyeshadow, this is all just the Portofino and it has stayed in place all day, again, also thanks to MAC Paint Pot. And I have it even here, a little bit here, here, just like everywhere, it just like melts perfectly on the skin, like I just love it. Her products. I love her blushes and highlighters, they're beautiful. So last but definitely not least, this is my second and a half bottle. I just bought it for Christmas. This is the Buxom Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade White Russian. I don't know why you even had to look. I know what the shade is called. <laughs> so this is what I'm wearing right now. It just has that perfect pinky nudie color to it. And not only do I love this color, but I love the formula. It just, I put it on once and it just, mm, it just makes things look full and it does not move and it doesn't give me that nasty white ring and it also has like a plumping, cooling feeling. So if you wear this in really cold weather, it will actually feel even more cold on your lips, which is kind of a funky sensation. <laughs> but like my lips just feel like full and glorious when I wear this and and after I've worn it my lips always feel hydrated afterwards I don't know exactly what's in this stuff but it's just the best formula it's my favorite lip gloss I've tried other ones a runner up to this is the Bobbi Brown um, lip glosses but they just don't have that plumping tingling feeling which I love in these you can actually find Buxom lip, lip glosses without that, but for me it's like, well, I love that, so I'm not gonna get the ones that don't have it, you know what I'm saying? Before I wrap up, I just wanna throw in a few of my favorites of different colors. So, my favorite red was NARS Cruella. It just was that perfect red. The light is unfortunately washing it out a little bit, but if it's more of like that rich, bloody, burgundy red, like, I just love it so much. And these sticks, it, it's matte and it just you just draw it on so easily. It stays smooth, smooth on the edges. It just stays on my lips and it's just perfect. Like this is by far my favorite red. And for my favorite bright and kind of like funky product, it's this lip by Urban Decay. It's a super saturated high gloss lip color in Big Bang. Now unfortunately they've discontinued this, this style of product but this color lives on thankfully again it's called Big Bang it's just like this perfect hot pink that has a cool undertone so it doesn't make your teeth look all weird it's so pretty and it just has sparkle in it like you can see that you have a variety here you know what I'm saying I just love it so much my last favorite is the NYX liquid suede cream stick in soft spoken I love this shade. It's not going to do it justice in this coloring, but it's just like that. It's like a mauvey brown nude. Oh, it's so pretty. Again, if I can figure out how to show a picture, I'll try and like put one somewhere in here. But it's just like this deep brown, but mauvey kind of brown, which I personally love because those like purpley undertones really suit my skin, my skin coloring. So if you're into that, this is so good. I wore it all day to do makeup from, I think it was like 10 to six and it had not budged. I was so impressed. So the last thing I'll throw in there is just a bit of a tip. This is the Makeup Forever Lip Line Perfector. So if you struggle with feathering or bleeding at all with any lip products, say you have your favorite lipstick and it just bleeds in your lip lines and you just hate it or it runs or just doesn't stay put, this is gonna be your best friend. There's also one from Urban Decay called Ozone that is just more of like a chubby stick instead. You don't want the skinny option, so there's those two options depending on like your preference. But it's just basically like a wax. And so you just you can either just line your lips alone or you can line and then fill in the whole way and it just like makes your lip product stand really well. <sighs> I did it. I made it. I have it's gonna suck editing this. <laughs> Because I'm talking clearly way too much because I can tell how long I've been recording and it's been too long. But it's been fun. It's nice to kind of do a recap of 2016. That you can have some good ideas and some new products to try. And hopefully I explain them in a way that is actually helpful to you. 
But if you have any of your favorites that you'd like to share with me, please do so and leave them in the comment section below and let me know what you thought. If you liked this, enjoyed it, please do definitely give it a like and hopefully I will see you next time. So subscribe so you know when I post next time. So I love you guys and I appreciate so much you being here and I'll talk to you next time. Okay, bye.